Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, today we play around with presets. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 65 of my photography Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Bond, James Bond. No, just kidding. My name is only Sir Dramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the poor city of Paris, but I'm happy to be with you guys. A couple of days ago, I showed you how to do the Instagram look. This is the before photo and this is the after photo. Today, what we are going to do is we're going to look at presets. Why? Because over the last few weeks, I created a number of presets, the Hollywood look, the Instagram look, the vintage look, different type of looks. And I want to show you how you can uh, really work with presets to get the best out of them and get the best inspiration. Also, I'm releasing 60 new presets. It's all in the video. So let me show you how we do this. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So before we get into the tutorial, I just want to remind you that I have a huge discount going on with October 11, which is, uh, or 11 October, actually both code works. As you can see, you can use this code here and you can get 30% on all my tutorials. That's gonna go till Friday night. It was on last week and it was a big success, but a lot of people uh, didn't have time or got the video too late. So that's why I'm extending it for another week. So you can get the advantage of using this tutorial. And I remind you that if you purchase one of these tutorial, you really help me do all the free stuff. I do tons of free stuff, but sometimes I need to also get paid for what I do. And so it really helps me a lot. So I thank you very much for that. Now, uh, we're going to talk about presets. Uh, and I want to show you how you can work with presets and give you a bit some idea. Plus, I'm re releasing a whole bunch of new presets that you can use for portraits or for landscape. So uh, a while back, I released Lightroom Preset Volume 1 and uh, uh, it had a lot of success. And now I'm going to release a Volume 2, which I'm going to call Lights. And uh, so, and I'll show you how I work with it. At the end of this video, I will also show you how you can install Preset, which is a question I get a lot. So first, uh, this is a photo of the Walt Disney Concert Hall I took in Los Angeles uh, last year, which had a lot of success, by the way, because it was picked up by Google as what's hot and I got tons of comments and I was so proud because I love this place. I had seen it on TVs, uh, on TV shows and I had seen it on, uh, yeah, on movies but I never saw it with my own eyes and uh, it took me hours to figure out a way how to take this photo and to get everything framed properly because there was a lot of traffic light and I ended up taking like se seven or eight photos Pano, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyways, to get one big photo. So I love the result. That's the final retouch result. But you see, when you work with presets, sometimes you want to go a bit exotic. You want to get into the, you know, the special effect and uh, stuff like that. So usually what I do is I create uh, different virtual copies. On Lightroom, that's something that I love. Create virtual copies. What that is, is that it doesn't take uh, any space at all on your hard drive but it gives you like four different copies of your photo. And, uh, and now, so if you go to the develop module, I will show you some of the presets that I've created with my son-in-law, Michael, who is helping me on doing the presets. And he did volume one with me and we did volume two together. So for example, on this photo, I created preset called uh, nightlife presets. And for example, on this first one, I'm going to use a preset called exterior light. Now that's going to give a complete different look to the photo, which you could, you could hate. I, I, I actually prefer the original one, but it's just to show you how I search for inspiration sometime. So that's one way I said, okay, why not this one? Now you have to know that a preset is just a starting point. You know, I, for example, I can say, well, it's a bit too strong. I want to lower the exposure. Uh, maybe increase a bit the contrast, but I kind of like the fitting, you know, it just gives you a starting point. Then I can take next photo. And um, I tried several on this one. I think flash natural color uh, gave another look, which I kind of like. Okay. So this one, it was kind of cool. And then I'm going to take the next virtual copy. And uh, this one, I'm going to go for uh, flash purple, for example. I think that's something that I tried. Um, yeah, it's a, so this is one variation. This is another variation. And um, this is one more. And you see, you can just go on and on and on and on. And 
And what one thing you can do is like I'm going to click on the last one. When you put your your mouse over uh, the preset on the photo above, you can see the result. And uh, so I can I can tell, for example, I want to get something very blue or uh, yeah yellow night corrections, for example. That's something totally crazy, but that could be a way of going about it. You know, if you want to do some uh, some very fancy stuff. So that's one way. Let me show you to you with a portrait. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take the portrait and I'm going to create four virtual copies. And I really do that for inspiration, you know, and that's all I do. Okay, then I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to go uh, again uh, in... Uh, no, I'm going to go to the as a collection. Actually, the, the pack, the Lightroom preset number two, you get uh, 60 preset. 20 preset called light leaks which i'm going to show you 20 preset that's called nightlife and 20 presets which is called contre jour which means uh, back or something and i think in english you say contre jour so let me show you on this portrait for example i'm gonna i'm gonna go into the x leaks uh, the light leaks i'm sorry and uh, i think i went for sunny day on this one sunny day i, I kind of like the look that it give on this photo and then I'm going to take the second photo on this one I'm going to go back to nightlife and uh, I think I tried to, yeah very very contrasted color I think this one kind of worked out pretty well it makes a sort of desaturated very contrasty photo I kind of like that then I go on the next virtual copy I took it again the yellow night correction I think this one worked really well for that photo um, and then I'm going to take the last copy and I think I went to the Contre Jour collection and I went to the right, uh, right fresh, where is it? The right fresh color. Yeah, something I'm giving like a little blue on the side. So four complete different style with the same photo. And um, I think it's pretty cool. You know, same thing with the landscape. Complete. I show you again the four different styles on the on the Walt Disney Concert Hall, and I think it's uh, yeah it's just a way to get creative you know with your photography. Uh, it's you know we, we we all we are going is for emotional impact, and sometimes you know you can go very natural and sometimes you can go supernatural. You know it just depends on what you want. So basically, Volume One costs twenty seven dollars and you've got sixty preset. Volume Two costs also $27 and you've got 60 presets. Uh, so in all it's $54, but now I have a new package which you will find on my website where you get all the presets, which is 120 presets for $47. And right now you can even get 30% on the top of it if you purchase before Friday night, so which would probably uh, get it around like $30 for 120 presets, something a complete steal. But uh, take advantage of the 30% on the whole website and uh, yeah, it helps finance uh, all this uh, free stuff that I'm also doing. Now, I also offered you a lot of free presets. And if you want to get all the free presets, all you have to do is go to news, sign up. And then you can sign up, put in your name and your email and sign up and you will get a link to a goodies page. And let me show you the goodies page. That's the goodies page. On this goodies page, you get all kind of raw file and preset for free. And all you have to do is sign up on your newsletter. And so I can send you, I will send you an email once a week with all my new stuff. And if you lost the email where you have the goodies link on it, all you can do is go back to my website, click back on sign up, just put in your name and your email again, and we change the system. This will give you right away a page saying that you're already subscribed, but it will give you the link to this confidential goodies page where you can get all the goodies. So voila. Now, that I explained that, let me explain you how do you do to install presets? Well, let me show it to you. It's pretty simple. When you buy uh, any presets from me, you get a zip file. That zip file, when you double click on it, uh, you get three folders. For example, this one you get the, it's called X Contre Jour, X Events, or X Lights, okay? That's the three files you get. Each file has 20 presets in it. Okay, now all you have to do is select the three files, right click, copy, so it's in the memory in copy, 
and then you go to Lightroom Preference, and that's going to open up the Lightroom Preference, which is crazy if you think about it. I just have to wait that it comes up, okay? And then you have tabs here. You go on a second tab called Presets, and here it says Show Lightroom Preset Folder. You click on it, and you come to this confidential place where you have all the presets for Lightroom. And the one you need to look for is the one called Develop Preset. On Develop Preset, well, you see here, and then I have a whole bunch of folders with a whole bunch of presets. On Develop Preset, all you have to do is right-click, paste what you've put into memory, and then you have to restart Lightroom. And once you've restarted Lightroom, well, there you have it. You have the folders that appear here, Light Streaks, Nightlife, you know, and uh, Contre Jour Collection. And uh, you can just go and have fun with the presets. So that is how you install presets. Well, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy and I hope it helps you create even more and have fun with your photos. Thank you very much and I'll see you back in the studio. Okay guys, so I hope you like these presets and you will check them out. Also I have this great sales of 30%, you know, to be able to pay the bills and finance this crazy podcast that I'm trying to do since a year now. Uh, thank you for all your nice mails. I got a lot of emails recently. I want to thank everybody. If I don't have the time to answer you, I'm really sorry. It's just that I'm getting more and more emails and I try to answer to everyone. Do not hesitate to leave comments on what tutorials you would like me to do for the next weeks. I always need some ideas and I love to share. Thank you very much for being there and I'll see you in a few days.